Hi there, everyone, and welcome to CPC's Midweek Online Devotional for Wednesday, April 28th. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're doing well. Today, I'd like to share a prayer with you, and it's a very, very well-known prayer, although this particular version of it may not be familiar to you. So here it is. O thou from whom the breath of life comes, who fills all realms of sound, light, and vibration, may your light be experienced in my utmost holiest. Your heavenly domain approaches. Let your will come true in the universe just as on earth. Give us wisdom, understanding, and assistance for our daily need. Detach the fetters of faults that bind us like we let go the guilt of others. Let us not be lost in superficial things, but let us be freed from that which keeps us off from our true purpose. From you comes the all-working will, the lively strength to act, the song that beautifies all and renews itself from age to age. Sealed in trust, faith, and truth, I confirm with my entire being. Does that prayer ring a bell at all? It's a translation from the Aramaic language of what we call the Lord's Prayer. You know, Jesus originally taught the prayer in Aramaic because that was his own native tongue. Now, surely, Jesus knew Hebrew and probably Greek as well, but his native language, Jesus' native language, was Aramaic. So when his disciples asked him to teach them to pray, he taught them what we know as the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic. And when he taught the prayer in his Sermon on the Mount, he taught it in Aramaic. The version that you and I use nowadays is based on the Greek language in which the New Testament was first written, rather than on Aramaic, the language that Jesus actually spoke. So, now you know. Here's how it happened in that Sermon on the Mount. Jesus is speaking and says, When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. They love to stand up and pray in the houses of worship and on the street corners so that everyone will see them. I assure you, they have already been paid in full. But when you pray, go to your room, close the door, and pray to God who is unseen. And God, who sees what you do in private, will reward you. When you pray, do not use a lot of meaningless words as the pagans do, who think that their gods will hear them because their prayers are long. Do not be like them. God already knows what you need before you ask. This, then, is how you should pray. O thou, from whom the breath of life comes, who fills all realms of sound, light, and vibration, May your light be experienced in my utmost holiest. Your heavenly domain approaches. Let your will come true in the universe just as on earth. Give us wisdom, understanding, and assistance for our daily need. Detach the fetters of faults that bind us like we let go the guilt of others. Let us not be lost in superficial things, but let us be freed from that which keeps us off from our true purpose. From you comes the all-working will, the lively strength to act, the song that beautifies all and renews itself from age to age. Sealed in trust, faith, and truth, I confirm with my entire being. Thanks again for tuning in today. I look forward to our shared online time this coming Sunday when we worship together. And until then, may God's peace and God's blessing be with you all. For now, goodbye.